So supposedly Elvis only wore and owned and wore one pair of blue suede shoes, which are right here. Those are but his blue suede shoes? Those are, those are Elvis's. These lighter blue suede shoes are Little Richards. <laughs> I just thought they were fitting. There's a magazine article about Elvis's shoes. What's really cool about those shoes, if you flip them over, So you've seen this guy right here on an earlier episode of Glow Trying with Trey when we were at the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum. Glenn was on American Pickers one episode and I think I asked him about it. Glenn, where am I at right now? This room seems like I see a lot of Elvis no, Presley stuff. A lot of Elvis. You're in a secret place. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, so this is actually in order to all this, believe it or not. So this is all the merchandise, you know, Elvis being the first celebrity ever merchandised. This is, I would say about 80% of all the merchandise ever put out on him is in this room. In this room, wow. Like the, the, the wallet display, you know, that, that's, I've never seen one. This is in, to have the original box. And back then, 98 cents. Yeah, 98 cents. Wow, and, and you'll never, you'll never see in the original mm -hmm. box with the plastic cover. Yeah, and you have red on this side, Got all the white, a blue yeah. one. Yeah. All right, so in 1956, the spa guy told me this, and you probably know, Glenn. If you don't, I'm gonna teach you here. How much money did Elvis Presley make in 1956? In 1956, well, I know how much he made yeah, in he 1950. Can cheat. <laughs> in 1955, here's his tax return, he made, where is it? Uh, $25,214.15. So that was in 1955. And there's his signature. Yeah, Elvis signed it right there. Unbelievable. So 56? 1956. Man, I'd have to, I'd, I would think close to a million would be my guess. 26 million. Whoa. I Let's think, think about that. that. All this merchandise, all this merchandise hit, hit the country. Elvis Presley in 56, 26 million dollars. We need to do the math and wow. see how much that is today. I'll tell you what, man, he didn't keep much of it. You look at his financial statements from the early 60s. Oh, these are financial, wow. He was not worth much. Let's see, total net worth here, 859,000. And this is 1963, so he blew it. <laughs> yeah, Elvis was buying a lot of motorcycles, cars for everyone. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Look at that. 1962. Yeah, 400. Let's see, decrease uh, net worth 361,062. So he wasn't even a millionaire in the early 60s. How though? How? And, and 361,000 in 1962 was his income? Yep. Now here's 67. His net worth was 1.3. Three two eight million one million three hundred twenty eight thousand and sixty seven. Still sad. I mean, it's a yeah, lot of money. Man, 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 man. Yeah, Elvis. Like sad. So, that's sad. Yeah. That is sad. Now look at this one. This is this is a this is a gift tax return. So he gave four cars away. Um, May nineteen seventy one. Trying to remember who it was. Red West. Colonel Parker. Red West. Bill Morris. George McCoppins. So he had to file it and he signed it here, Elvis Presley. Somebody asked me the other day, I think Jeff Lewis asked me, how many autographs do you have of Elvis? I said, no, oh, not that many. And then when I toured this thing with, with, with Jeff, I was like, I forgot about all the, the legal documents. If you compile those, it's like dozens. Yeah. It's crazy. There's one. Let's see. There's two right here on this wall. Yeah, yeah. there's two right here. Yeah, and there's, there's a third one right there on that Christmas card. So there's three just here. So this is cool. I need to send this to uh, to Bill. Uh, yeah, I'm a good friend. Well, no, Bill. check this out. I found, and Stephen Schutz helped me with this. After I bought this, 
I found, uh, with Shutt's help, this picture of Bill Morris shining the front of the car Elvis gave him. Yeah, there's Bill, that's great. That's the actual car. That, this is the actual car from this? Yeah, that is the car. Okay, so that was yeah popular. That was the, uh, the place that they just knocked down, right? Crazy. Mm-hmm. History. Now, I found this in an old magazine. This is Elvis, you can see his blonde hair. And this is the guy that produced, made all the, all the merchandise, or the majority of it. And he's showing Elvis all the stuff here. Got it all laid out, man. Oh yeah, it's all laid out on the table there. Rare. So, yeah, you have... Elvis actually checked it all out. Elvis saw all this, guys. He probably signed off on some of the stuff. Like, yeah, I like that, I don't like this. Yeah. Look at this, you have Elvis necklaces, stopwatches, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jewelry. All kinds of jewelry, man. Look, you could get his pit on a bracelet. Girls would like that, right? Have his young, a young picture of Elvis from 1954 in a bracelet. What a picture. <laughs> what we got here? Um, oh, yeah. Did you know he had a game board? I didn't know he had a game board. There it is. Now check this out. It's never been used. It's never been opened. See the, the wrapping mm -hmm. still around it? Nobody ever used it. Crazy. The Elvis Presley game, a party game for the young at hearts. <laughs> and there's the Elvis doll, little Elvis guitar, postcards, <laughs> just more toys, viewfinders. Well, I've seen them before. And that's what the, yep, that's, that's what you put saw. Put that picture in there, you can see Elvis. <laughs> right? Oh, here's the adver uh, replica advertisement for, for that game. Elvis board. Presley game. And a couple more guitars. They're, they're a little different than the one you saw on the wall. This this is actually one that's made in England for Elvis. You know, Elvis picture here. Now the one thing, here's the unusual thing about this guitar. This guitar was given, I bought this from uh, the Dick Clark estate. Elvis gave that guitar to Dick Clark. So that's the unusual story behind that one. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that, well that just makes it better. Yeah. Bought that from Dick Clark. Dick Clark. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, more letters. People asking for money. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More letters. Oh yeah, it says Dear Elvis, each year the West Memphis Lions Club sponsors a beauty pageant. So they want to we'd like to ask you to serve as a judge for the contest which will be held on Monday night, June the 9th in the high school auditorium beginning at 7. 30 p.m. This is June the 2nd, 1958, West Memphis, Arkansas, guys. Yeah, I doubt that happened. I doubt Elvis. He was busy getting his hair shaved. Yeah. <laughs> so then I found a picture. Oh, look at that. Elvis was fan mail. Look at that, guys. Did you see all the dates? Most of these are 57, 58, some of them early 60s. This is crazy. Now one of them, and I took it out of here, and I'll show you why shortly. One of these letters was from Pat Boyd, Elvis's secretary, who was married Red. to Red West. Yeah. Yeah. And she had sent, Pat sent this Polaroid of Elvis with a Mr. Richardson and his wife, who was, Mr. Richardson was president of one of the fan clubs. And uh, Pat Boyd sent him this Polaroid in a letter. And uh, I had it displayed in here. It was in the bag of mail, by the fan mail. This is very bizarre. I bought it years ago. So, um, but a few years after that, I bought another piece, which is now missing from this wall because I moved it, and you'll understand why in, in a few minutes. So this other piece was a photo of Elvis, and it was an enlargement of that Polaroid. And on the back side of the photo, Elvis autographed the, the photo for the fan club president. So those are now together with a third piece of the jacket that I recently bought that Elvis is wearing in the picture. Okay. So these three pieces were bought years apart from each other, but they're all tied together. They're all together. Yeah. So it just added up over the years. Yeah, it, it just comes to you. <laughs> and, and you know, that's really pretty much the only reason I buy things anymore is if it goes a story. with something else. Just like we do with these Elvis stories. More yeah. letters, right? More letters. Dear El. <laughs> Dear Elvis, will you marry me? Yeah, my baby's birthday for a. 
my baby's birthday for a change around, I can't read that. My, yeah, too small. My lady's, my lady's birthday for a, a charge around this guy. I can't even read that one. <laughs> Me either. Dear sweetheart Elvis, I am writing to tell you that Dorothy something. Ayers. Ayers. Arkansas told me in her letter that if I write to you, you'll answer back something to, to told me. I read in the Sunday Eagle that you, we can be here all day reading this, or trying to. That you want home five. <laughs> Bottom line is they're crazy about Elvis, like Tom Petty said. And they still are. Still yeah. are. Yeah. So, coming over here. Wait, first off, this is a ticket to the fairground. Yes. That's one of my, that's my favorite thing right there, guys. Uh, that was a ticket into the Tupelo fairground that day. Now, I have a, a friend that was on the third row of that show. Really? As a boy, yeah. Who is that? <laughs> you know, he, uh, he's uh, an older gentleman and uh, I'm gonna leave his name out of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me later. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Tell me later. <laughs> so here we uh, here we got. Uh, this is Graceland's display, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is a letter from the the board manufacturer, 1957. The who made his game board, and here's a letterhead, original letterhead of the game board. Pretty That's cool great. Stuff. That's really cool. And then we got, uh, this is just another souvenir photo album. And you signed that? Yep. So that's another autograph you have. Yep, another autograph. I think that's five so far right, that I remember. No, six, I believe. Five, six. Well, we're counting uh, what we got here. Now this is really cool. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't pay a lot of money for this, but I thought it was cool because uh, it's, just a, it's just a an envelope. Mm -hmm. From Parker to Elvis, but notice the <clears throat> the postmark. It's December twentieth, and then so then I found this photo, obviously Christmas time because there's Santa Claus, right? Right. And I don't know if you can tell, zoom in, but that that envelope is a Parker envelope. You're right about that. I'm and zooming in. and what's the date? Fifty six. This is December nineteen fifty six. December 20, 1956. So you can tell by looking at Elvis here. That's probably about the right age you know was it that Christmas is that envelope that one right now you know you're right is that the envelope Elvis is holding in that photo nothing in the envelope just an empty envelope check that out guys couldn't even tell you how I ended up with it to be honest with you could it be could be it could be no doubt about it Santa Claus thinks so look at him he's looking at the envelope maybe one day when I have time I'll zoom in yeah yeah, see if the stamps line up, if we can. So then we got this, this, this is just a letter from a, um, a Judy Spreckles. I don't know if... I've heard of her. Exactly. Yeah. And she did this little sketch of Elvis, Tom, Tom Diskin, uh, and I say from, it's to, Tom Diskin sent this to Judy Spreckles. And here is a picture. I don't know why I'm thinking this, but Spreckles, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Judy Spreckles may have been the one that was given the clothes Elvis wore in yeah, Judy and Loving You, the Teddy uh, Teddy Bear scene where he did the song Teddy Bear. Let me, because I've heard her name before. Could be. So yeah, he's thanking her for that picture. Yeah, yeah. Hank Snow program. Here's a page out of it. All the signs. Oh, okay. So, all right. So we're gonna have to count these signatures. There's seven now. So here's a Hank Snow program, and Jimmy Snow, you know, is coming to the Tiger Man. Four, five, six. Hank signed that. There's Hank. Yeah, Hank. Hank uh, signed it too. That's seven. A, you're right. You're right, Trey. I'm at seven. Right. I'm good. Seven. I'm at seven. There's so seven. let's keep that count. I think so. I think so. That's a cool piece, man, because that's early Elvis right there. Yeah, that's very early. This is everything in here is pretty early. And at the top, we got some books owned by Elvis. 
You know, he loved the DEA stuff and all the, the cops and the detectives. So that was that was a book. He knew Jack Kelly. That is that, that's his. That, that was that Elvis Presley's book, book. Yeah. on the street. And then the detective was Frank Sinatra. Courage, and profiles, and courage. So these are all books. Him book. Now, now something that somebody, a, fr a good friend, just gave me uh, this um, two days ago. Okay. Talking about DEA. We're gonna kind of skip over a little bit. All right. So she had this friend of mine has a friend that joined the DEA. He was a female officer joined the DEA um, back right right before uh, or right I'm sorry right after Elvis met Nixon. <laughs> and back then for that year in, in uh, 1970 for about a year, the DEA would give all their their new people recruits a photo of Elvis meeting Nixon. So this DEA agent that joined up back in uh, 1970 um, gave my friend her photo, and she in turn gave it to me. And here's the original. Here's an original photo of Elvis from the DEA. That's an original photo of Elvis meeting Nixon from the DEA. Yeah, that's great. You just got this two days ago. Two days ago. Just in time for me to come see it. That's it. And look at Elvis decked out that day, man. I mean, come on. He's ha he has to be the coolest guy ever. So she had it, the, the agent had it in a frame because the, the DEA gave it to her with a frame that said DEA on it, I right. guess. And she couldn't give the frame. So that's why it's got some damage. She had to take the frame off. But I thought that's cool. You know, I mean, I'll never, I'm not a badge collector. I don't do badges. I don't do patches. I don't do guns. Although I do have one gun that you I did. didn't pass up. You have a gun here. I have a gun. So this is the gun that Elvis gave to the captain of the Denver police. This guy right here. Mm -hmm. When him and Mindy Miller jumped on the plane, uh, somebody had uh, died. I think I want to say it was the captain's son or somebody on the police force. And they went to the funeral. Um, and Mindy was with Elvis when Elvis gave this guy this gun. And here's a big long letter from Mindy about it. And uh, then, so after I bought the gun, I got on eBay and I found the actual gun, not the case, because they only made 2,000 of these pistols, but there was a case available for this model with the original box, the WW1. <laughs> so I got the case now, got the box, and some pictures of Elvis. That picture is incredible, because I've heard about that. I interviewed a cop that got to spend three days up on Elvis's floor there in Pittsburgh, guarding the floor, and he said that he got he t was talking to Elvis m one day, and uh, Elvis got talking about his guns, and he was showing his gun to Elvis and everything, and he he said he he stopped Red. He said Red, go get my suitcase. So he said, Red, one of the, or Sonny, brings this big suitcase over. Elvis opens up the suitcase, and just like in this picture, guys, he told me that Elvis had every gun imaginable in that suitcase. He was just <laughs> pulling them out, showing that's them. That must be the suitcase. Unbelievable. That's the suitcase. How great. Yeah, because that's around that time that in, in yeah. the 70s. So Elvis traveled with those guns. Yeah. <laughs> he gave, he had two of these guns. The story is he had two of these guns. Exactly the same. He gave one to General Omar Bradley. Mm -hmm. I've heard him. Who, heard. who Patty, my, my girlfriend's related to. <laughs> uh, just a coincidence. And then the other one to, to this fella. But that gun is a collector's piece in itself. With no ties to all of us. Oh, it? It's still a collector piece. It's a cool gun. <laughs> and now, Glenn, you own it. I own it. And you own a couple some bullets. bullets. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got some miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, well, this is the type of stuff I like. <laughs> got a CB, CB, CB radio uh, microphone <laughs> that supposedly Elvis uh, used. That I, can, I can't that. see him on the CB personally, but you know, it's like, hey man, you sound like Elvis. Well, you know, Dean told me a story that Elvis did on it CB? In, in his car. Oh, okay. And and uh, he said, uh, "Breaker, breaker, this is a king." Huh? 
Huh. And the guy never even knew who it was. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's the story. Enough. That's the story he told me. Got the, What's got the buckle a, here? Buckle came off of this belt. This jumpsuit belt. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. That is cool. It's like, I'd like to rather have the belt, but you know. But hey, you have a piece of it. Yeah, you got a piece of it. American Express Company. There's just some weird things in this case, you know. It's like a, <clears throat> a, a AAA booklet that came out of the glove box. Of, yeah, it yeah. It made 25000 which is pretty good. Yeah. For, you know, back then. Not for Elvis, but... Yeah, but it was good. It was good, yeah. <laughs> so, over here we just got some menus you know, from the Vegas gigs. Yep. And some more brochures, photo albums magazines not one of my favorite cases but they're cool pieces some people love this stuff yeah, and there's the mystery girl which is June Winico there you go yeah yeah so could this lucky girl, girl be you that's pretty funny they put her they marked her face off oh the Flamingo Hotel yeah room service I love it some people I know this is all they do is collect menus menus that's all they do yeah it's a collection which, it's a collection, yeah. But you could see back into the concert, you could get back and watch Elvis and you could eat Seafood Cocktail Supreme for $1.50 for an appetizer. I Bait guess. Lobster Tail International, 15 bucks. <laughs> Some people just do records. I don't, I don't do any, well, that's not true. I have one record. It's listed in the Jerry Osborne catalog as the most valuable Elvis Presley record in the world. I have that. I don't do records other than that, but I do do acetates. I have, mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of records in the main room, but they're not, they're acetates. They're the originals, um, kind of like the Louisiana Hayrod. Uh, you know, and whenever I go through this thing with people, I always ask at the end, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but what's your favorite piece? Mm -hmm. And we're at one of many people's favorite pieces, including my own. Oh, what could it be? Um, I haven't looked, so I'm, I, I'm like a boy for Christmas, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating, you know? <laughs> well, it's, it's and, and I gotta tell you, a lot of a lot of people, I, I, I bid on and bought this thing live in, in Times Square, New York, and man, people were coming to say, what are you buying that for? And uh, I still think they're cool. It's his handwritten dental records from 1957, to 1977, to be specific, through August 15th, 1977. So he still owes the dentist, and here it is, he still owes the dentist $300. Okay. And I still say, and I don't mean this, that the dentist did this intentionally, the dentist killed him, you know? Um, if not by the all the codeine that was prescribed to him, um, I have heard that Elvis, and I forget what the medical term is, where you're, so, you're supposed to take antibiotics before you get your teeth cleaned. Right. Because the bacteria can get in your bloodstream and backflow into your heart and give you a heart attack. And I've heard Elvis had that affliction. So did that kill him ultimately? You it was know, in the system. No, nobody's ever said that. It's yeah. just a theory I have. So then I found these pictures, you know, last photo of him alive, right. com coming back from the dentist. I found this photo. Now this photo is Elvis when he was filming Jailhouse Rock. He slid down the pole. He, he a crown came loose and he swallowed it. And he had to get it removed from his lung. Yeah. And then I found this photo of him. Obviously, some kind of dental something. Yeah. Squirting so around with that nurse. Put them together. Yeah. But this is incredible, though, man. Like these were actually his. <laughs> Those were his for 20 years. You can see. Uh, there's writing on the back side of each one of these cards and there's glass on the back of this piece so I could actually remove it from the wall and you could read the back side too. But, but, he, but he still owes him 300 bucks. Yeah, and he's not getting that money. <laughs> <laughs> I think this dentist is still alive. No, I think, he's, no? I think he's he died, dead? yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe he's dead. But yeah, I'm trying to read. What, what does that say? On June the 14th and June the 22nd of 77, what does that say? Some house well, call. House call. House call. Yeah, house call. Well, in here, like I said, here's August fifteenth, yeah, seventy-seven. 15th. That was it, man. That was his, the end of the line for Elvis. Yeah. Mm, unbelievable. 
And that starts at right here on 57, 1957. December. 377. And then up here is an um, empty prescription pill bottle that was filled August 15th, 77. Um, I can't remember the name of the drug. But that's pretty cool. Because, you know, I mean, the night before, the oh, day yeah. before. So did that contribute to his death? Who knows? August the 15th. Hard to say, right? Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, Elvis had so many problems and then he's doing all that kind of stuff. We'll hit this cabinet. Oh man, wow. Alright, so this is this got this has all his jewelry, um, some of his shoes uh, at the bottom. So supposedly Elvis only wore and owned and wore one pair of blue suede shoes, which are right here. Those are but his blue suede shoes. Those are his, those are Elvis's. These lighter blue suede shoes are little Richards. <laughs> Thought they were fitting. There's a magazine article about Elvis's shoes. What's really cool about those shoes, if you flip them over, I think it's the left shoe, if I remember right. The, the wear pattern, there's only wear on the ball of the foot in a circular motion. Really? You can, where he's pivoting his, he, so, his, his ball of his foot. So if you flip these over. Yeah. Um, that, and when I did that, when I first got and flipped it over and saw that, that literally, the hair stood up on my neck. Oh, man. Yeah, just think of, think of the concerts, man, Glenn. Think of the pandemonium when he's wearing these shoes, the, uh, the epic performances at the music that we hear today, and Elvis has the blue suede shoes. Don't step on my blue suede shoes on stage. I have chills right now, man. And he, you know, he didn't wear those after the fifties. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, I'm, I'm a real big Elvis fifty-five, fifty-six. Yep, absolutely. Man, that to me is that's real, real Elvis yep. Presley, man. Well, you look at all these shoes; they're all from the fifties. What are these white? These and these are autographed to uh, Gary Pepper and the Tankers. Oh, okay. Each shoe, that's to Gary. This is to the Tankers. And you know, I found a picture of Elvis wearing same or similar shoes. Um, yeah. And same thing over here. This, this pair of shoes, I, I found a picture of um, Elvis wearing these, same or similar. Oh, he wore those there in Memphis, there at that one of those first early concerts. That, that was, I mean, he's young there. Yeah, that, man. that had to be 54. That's at the Lamar Airways show. What year? Uh, 54. 54. He, yeah. he, uh, he's, he's on a flatbed truck in the back of the parking lot yeah. of the uh, shopping center. And he gave these shoes later to Gary and he autographed them. He, he gave a lot of stuff to Gary. I've lost track of how many autographs we got now. Probably about 18, 10, I believe. 18. Yeah. So those are cool. So these are all 50 shoes. Man, that is incredible, man. The little Richards are the 1960s. Yeah, and Little Richard. Little Richard. The blue suede. But these bad boys. And then, you know, from there up, we got jewelry, man. We just have jewelry. TCB necklaces, Dr. Gonham's, uh, Tish Henley's TLC. Oh, you have Tish's TLC? Yeah. Got Elvis's partner cross, which is one of a kind. Him and Priscilla each had one when they got married. Oh, Picture wow. of him wearing it. Um, got a few rings he had given to Dave, Dave Hebler. Um, Al Strada he gave that watch to Al. That's Al's watch that Elvis gave to him. Check yeah. that out, guys. Um, my favorite ring, one of the only rings that I sometimes will wear, is that star ring. Has oh. the e on it. Okay, so what kind of special occasion brings that ring out? You put it on your El finger. Elvis right? Week in Memphis. <laughs> is that the one that you wore at the Tiger Man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you let me, uh, I think you let me put it on back in the, at the Tiger Man. Man, I must like you. I, th I think you did, Glenn. I think you did. Man. That's cool. So, yeah, that uh, star, man. we wow. got uh, this this huge ring over here. This was a given away. You see the National Enquirer talk about this ring, uh -huh. giving it away, fan club deal. This one right here. Yep. Tourmaline. I, I don't, I've never put that one on or worn it anywhere. I just, you know, too many stones to lose. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to lose that. And, uh, what is this one right here? Oh, that one, man, that's, that's got Elvis all over it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So he gave that to Dr. Gonham. Man, that's look at Gonham's. that. Look at that gold, guys. That came from Gonham's wife. Um, and then, uh, 
Man, there's all kinds of rings in here. We got the E. That was a, a Hebler ring. Oh, that was Dave's? Yeah. I like that one with the, the gold piece in it. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. A few necklaces with the gold pieces. Those are pretty cool. Diamonds and gold coins. And the glasses. The glasses uh, on the top shelf are very unusual. Um, there was a a little discussion the other day with someone about uh, they thought that there was only one pair of sunglasses with TCB and you could see the TCB on the side. Yeah, you can. The so they said there was only one pair of glasses with a TCB on the side of it. No, there's not. There's more. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, I could go in and show you. But I, I took those to Memphis one year. I let Jeff wear them and, uh, and then Next thing I know, you know, we're we're checking, we're going places, doing things, and Jeff just just wearing them, and then he hangs them on his shirt, and and he started to put the end of them in his mouth. I was like, oh, I mean, <laughs> he goes, I forgot, I forgot. He, he thought that was his sunglasses. Eh? Yeah. That's incredible, though, man. So, w which one were the first ones you bought? Um, if you can't even remember, I think I bought these reading glasses first. And you, what's cool about those, if you look at this angle over here on this side, you can see where all this chewed on them. Where? He put them in his mouth. You know how we all do that. Oh, yeah, you can. Look we'll at take that. Them, take them out of our glasses, out of our mouth, put them in our mouth, you know, while we're doing whatever. Um, I think those were my first. And the sunglasses you showed, those were my second. And then I bought these, these glasses. These are actually glasses, just, you know, prescription glasses. And what's cool about these, you know, Elvis had a bunch of these, but you remember the, um, uh, the film, 1981 film documentary, This Is Elvis? Mm -hmm. They had an act when they showed the upstairs, Johnny Hera, the mm -hmm. actor. Yeah, in the bedroom. Right. So they needed a pair of glasses for Johnny, and so they went in Elvis's room and took some out of his room and gave them to Johnny, and then they let him keep them. And so Johnny took them and had his initial, his name put on the side of them. I see that. That's incredible. So but to, these, this was Elvis Presley's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elvis, and then they uh, they gave him. I assume I I think Priscilla was the one that actually gave them to him. Yeah. Um, this came from the Greg Page collection. So to me, you know, I try to stick with things that are unique. Elvis had a bunch of these glasses, but how many did he have that Johnny Hare wore? One. one. Only one pair, no doubt. Right. Now, I've seen these a lot. Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble. Subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey to stay updated with every new Elvis episode that I upload each Tuesday and special ones here and there. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.